Hello, beautiful souls. Oh, happy full moon. It's just over now. We're coming to the end of the energy. But man, this has been a big month energetically. And I don't know about you, but the last several days after those double X solar, no, there were three of them, three of those that happened, holy cow, a lot has shifted for me. I remember today I was like, I called up my bestie and I'm like, am I okay? <laughs> because I'm having a lot of awareness that at first I'm not trusting because it seems pretty far out there. And what's interesting is I'm going to say that a lot of people are falling back into old patterns. And so notice for yourself, you know, a lot of us have made a lot of gains in the, in our consciousness, but, um, it's not a one way street. I know a lot of people say that once you awaken, you can't go back to sleep, but I don't think that is true. I noticed that when the energies get really intense, a lot of people kind of go back on automatic pilot. And they start to maybe not do the things that they used to do. I don't know. Sometimes it's subconscious. Um, sometimes it's just about soothing. Um, but notice for yourself what you're doing. Are you taking the time to meditate? Are you taking the time to eat good for you food? Are you staying adequately hydrated? And are you noticing, like, even if you are drinking water, you know, um, a lot of us, at, at least in, in sessions and even among my friends, we've been talking a lot about that Celtic sea salt because a lot of us are needing a little bit of that in order to um, <clears throat> fully use the water that we're drinking. It's very interesting. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, just pay attention that you are not falling back into old patterns. One of the things I'm noticing is that, you know, uh, some people are falling back into the old consciousness of, you know, tit for tat, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to call that something else. <laughs> Playing the tit for tat game is also called revenge. And I'm going to say that um, that is a definite uh, lower level consciousness that comes into play when we fall into that. Um, and so, like, there's a lot of people that have just slipped down for whatever reason I mean, people are falling out of our lives and it's important to understand that there might not be an actual reason beyond that we're not going the same place. Maybe our journeys are taking us different places and so we're not going to be walking alongside of each other anymore. So some of the things I've noticed coming up for people is this idea of worthiness you are worthy of living the life that you want to live, whatever that means, right? Full of joy and bliss and happiness. You do, are not doomed to a life of suffering and misery. And so some of us have, it's like, snap out of it. <laughs> it's like, yo. So um, notice if you're falling back into the old programming uh, because when things get really intense like this, it, everything gets sh shooken up. Another thing I've noticed is uh, the idea of validation and recognition. And that as we expand our consciousness, while recognition and validation outside of us is nice, it is not necessary. And the further that we are able to expand that way, the less being recognized matters. The other thing I'm noticing is that um, 
yeah, don't notice if you're falling into old patterns of not communicating. And it's this thing of like, well, what's it going to matter if I say anything anyway? It's not about that. It's about us speaking up and, you know, being direct and doing it with kindness and, and promoting connection. It's important to speak up, to use your voice. If you're feeling or noticing or thinking something, just check in. Hey, what do you, is this? Is this what, what is this? I'm noticing X, Y, Z. You know, can you tell me about it? In relationship. Otherwise, these relationships, when we don't ask questions, don't ask clarifying questions, don't express ourselves, those relationships are going to fall away. So, yeah, this Pisces emotional energy, man, I know some will say it's not Pisces. Okay. I feel like, um, three, three, three. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, this is emotion. Three, three, three. Don't push your feelings away. Allow it, whatever it is that you're feeling to come up. Acknowledge it. Spend some time with it. Maybe get curious. This is a time to do big, major, major work. Major, deep inner work. Purification. Um, we are releasing so much density within us right now. All the way until the April 8th eclipse. I know a lot of people have been saying that, oh, uh, February is going to be a crazy month. Well, it's all the way, man until the eclipse. We have raging energy, change-making energy, new beginnings, and we have got to let go of the old in order to jump into these new beginnings. They are like uh, appearing before us, but in order to step into that, we have to let go of so much. So it's a time of faith and it's a time of figuring out exactly what we really want and what we're being called to do and not to get distracted by the other stuff because there's a lot of distraction coming in right now too. Like, you know, <clears throat> we have these inner, at least me, right? I have these inner things that light me up and so it's clear what I, what I love to do, right? There's lots of things that light me up like a Christmas tree. But what I've noticed is that not all of those, right, are the things, um, maybe there's other things that, because I know, I, you know, in business or whatever, there's other things that make more money. But I know that for me, I need to be focusing on the things that light me up. That's where I'm going to be successful that's where my passion is going to just infuse everything and make it successful. Do you know what I mean? So careful not to get distracted on the flash in the pan or I kind of am seeing it like there's lures out there that are nice and shiny and they're, um, you know, your, your, your focus is, you know, you're becoming distracted from what is really important for you which is figuring out exactly what you want, exactly what lights you up, and figuring out what it is that you're here to do. Like reworking your own programming. Like from the time you were little, from, you know, what is it that is going to make you feel successful in this life? Is it having the house with the picket fence and the two and a half kids and all the, that crap? Probably not. Maybe part of it. But it's time to look at all of it and figure out what it is that's going to light you up and do that. And even if you have a job doing something else, you don't have to be doing that for a job. 
You just need to be making time and focusing on the things that light you up. It doesn't have to be how you make a living. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You just have to be making the time to do the things that you love. And some of you may end up, that might be your profession. That might be how you end up getting your paycheck. Others of you, maybe it's not. Maybe the job that you're doing is what is helping you do what it is that you love to do. So it's all in your perspective. But our consciousness is shifting really fast. And so it might feel like you're on quicksand, like you're not really sure. Like today when I call my friend, I'm like, what is going on? Am I okay? Which way is north? That's what it felt like. Like, whoa, my compass got, which way is north? And now I'm good. Sometimes all it takes is a conversation with a friend and all is good. That's what those, those soul family, those soul people, that's what they do for us. They help bring us right back into the heart, the heart of what really matters. Love you guys.